Habitats Explored, Episode 7, Abyssal Plains. Hello and welcome back to TMD Blue Sea Habitats Explored series. Today I'm going to be talking about Abyssal Plains. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you aren't already, remember to subscribe to keep up to date with the series and remember to hit that bell for notifications. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Cheers. The term abyssal plain refers to a flat region of the ocean floor, usually at the base of a continental rise in the abyssopelagic zone of the ocean, 3,000 to 6,000 metres below the surface. To learn more about the ocean zones, click the link above or in the description. Life in the abyssal plains poses many challenges. Dark, cold and crushing pressure are all factors that species there have to deal with. To learn more about the deep sea, check out the link above or in the description below, all about wonders of the deep, featuring some really interesting species. The plains cover 70% of the ocean floor, making them the largest habitat on Earth. In the dark depths where they lie, sunlight does not penetrate, meaning these areas tend to be less productive than the sunlit continental shelf. However, they are still full of interesting creatures, such as the Dumbo octopus, a variety of microbes and smaller animals, as well as tripod fish, which looks so freaky. Abyssal plains can be interrupted by things such as hills, valleys, seamounts, and hydrothermal vents. We will cover vents and seamounts in later videos in this series. Make sure you are subscribed with your notifications on to learn about those. Abyssal plains are made up of silt, sediment, and sand that blankets the original ocean floor forming a smooth, flat plain. The creation of the abyssal plain is the result of the spreading of the sea floor, plate tectonics, and the melting of the lower oceanic crust. The majority of the world's abyssal plains are found within the Atlantic Ocean, although they are in all seas on Earth. Threats facing abyssal plains include deep sea drilling. As more of Earth's resources are depleted, more and more research is being done into deep water drilling. This could harm the biodiversity there. Within the mud and silt of the abyssal plains are large deposits of minerals. These deep oceanic polymetallic nodules form on or just below the vast sediment covered abyssal plains of the global ocean. They contain valuable minerals. Mining for these could damage the habitat they are in in a number of ways. As species that rely on these nodules, such as deep sea corals and sponges, they live on them. Others, such as the female Casper octopus, depend on the species that live on the nodules. If the nodules are removed, it is likely that the species will not survive, as there will be too much disruption to the habitat. Plastic is already a threat in the deep ocean, with plastic bags having been found in the deepest depths. So, that was my video all about abyssal plains. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, why not give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, Thank you again for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.